हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्टडी मेक एजुकेशन चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एमसीक्यू फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग विद सॉल्यूशन पार्ट सिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर हीट ट्रांसफर इन अ लिक्विड एंड गैस टेक प्लेस बाय और ऑप्शंस आर कन्वेक्शन ऑप्शन बी रेडिएशन ऑप्शन डी कंडक्शन एंड ऑप्शन सी और ऑफ द थ्री मैंशन हीयर सो अवर राइट आंसर ओवर हियर कन्वेक्शन नाउ लेट डिस्कस वॉट इज कन्वेक्शन कंडक्शन एंड रेडिएशन सो लेट्स कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस डायग्राम वी हैव फायर यूटेंसिल एंड विथ हैंडल सो वॉट इज रेडिएशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रेडिएशन मीन्स हीट ट्रांसफर टेक प्लेस हीट ट्रांसफर टेक प्लेस इन स्ट्रेट लाइन मैनर स्ट्रेट लाइन रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड्स एंड वॉट एवर द हीट वी फील फ्रॉम द सन वॉट एवर द हीट वी फील फ्रॉम द सन इट इज ऑल्स इट इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन and for this we have to remember another information that is this type of heat can also pass through vacuum also so remember these details now for conduction convection and radiation we have to remember another mcq that in case of boiler in case of boiler heat transfer takes place by conduction convection and radiation remember this okay now let's move to the our next uh, main topic what is the definition of a conduction heat transfer conduction heat transfer means heat transfer take place by molecular collision remember this word by molecular collision over here okay now what is the meaning of convection heat transfer convection heat transfer mean heat transfer take place by a movement of an atom movement of an atom with respect to other atom with respect to other with respect to other atom so remember these are words for convection conduction and radiation radiation means heat transfer takes place in a straight line conduction means heat transfer takes place by molecular collision and convection means heat transfer takes place by movement of an atom with respect to other atom okay now we clear for the these three types of heat transfer let's move to the next question our next question is working principle of dead weight pressure gauge tester is based on or options are dalton's law of partial pressure option b newton's law of viscosity option d pascal's law and option c none of the three mention here so our right answer first of all is the working principle of dead weight pressure gauge tester is based on pascal's law so let's discuss uh, first of all what is the main function of dead weight pressure gauge tester then main function of dead weight pressure gauge tester is to calibrate to calibrate the pressure measuring devices remember these words to calibrate the pressure measuring devices this dead weight pressure gauge tester is used now let's discuss another options whatever given given in this question dalton's law of partial pressure what is this uh, Dalton's law of partial pressure. Total pressure is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. Means that means the definition is the total pressure of a gas is equal to partial pressure of individual gases. So equation is total pressure is equal to P pressure P1 plus P2 plus P3. Remember this. Now let's discuss about Newton's law of viscosity. What is the Newton's law of viscosity? The equation is tau is equal to mu. du upon dy first of all what is du by dy it, that is velocity gradient remember this word velocity gradient and what is uh, mu mu is known as dynamic viscosity and the unit viscosity and the unit is newton into second per meter square remember this and what is tau tau is a shear stress as we know stress now what is pascal's law pascal's law over here pascal's law states that <coughs> the transmission the transmission of fluid pressure the transmission of fluid pressure in incompressible in incompressible fluid in confined space in confined space 
is same in all direction same in all direction i repeat this de definition the pascal's law state that the transmission of fluid pressure in incompressible fluid in confined space is same in all direction so remember this definition very very important for exam point of view now let's see the diagram so we have some clear picture clear idea about uh, this pascal's law over here we have a plunger and piston so as we know the pressure is equal to force by area so pressure at plunger is equal to load available at plunger and area of plunger and piston for piston that is f2 by a2 so from this equation we can write directly that f1 by a1 is equal to f2 upon a2 therefore area uh, therefore force available at plunger into area of piston and force uh, force available at piston and area at plunger or you can pronounce plunger both are same so we have to remember this equation over here sometimes numerical will directly come into the exam okay now let's see the left side diagram left side figure there is a dead weight pressure gauge tester and which is calibrated to you which is used to calibrate gauge pressure gauge remember these words okay now we are clear for this question so now move to the next question our next question is fire tube boilers remember fire tube boilers are those in which option a water is passed through the tube and the flue gas around it this is wrong option because if water pass through tubes it is known as water tube turbine so water tube boilers now option b for circulation take place no none of the three mention here flue gas pass through the tube and water around it yes this is our right answer option d is the right answer so for this question our option d is the right answer now here uh, here there, there is a trick to remember the types of fire tube boiler and water tube boiler you can also develop your own trick so let's see how to remember all the types of boiler first of all sv clc vsm this is trick for fire tube boiler sv stand for simple vertical boiler and c c stand for cochran boiler cochran boiler and l l stand for lancashire boiler lancashire boiler another l stand for locomotive boiler locomotive boiler let me clear all this now another c stand for cornish boiler cornish boiler first of all this type uh, the first c is no uh, is stand for cochran boiler and another stand for cornish boiler remember both c and next is for v v stand for welcon boiler welcon boiler and sm last one sm sm stand for scotch scotch marine boiler as name suggests itself is used in a marine scotch marine boiler well now at right side as we can see water tube boiler for bw stand for babcock and wilcox boiler babcock and wilcock boiler and next uh, word is st st stand for stirling boiler stirling boiler and next is la la means lamont boiler lamont boiler lo lo stand for loffler boiler loffler boiler and b b stand for benson boiler benson and y y stand for yero boiler y e w r o w boiler so you can also develop your uh, own uh, trick to remember all the boilers which is given in a book and uh, yes 
let's move to the next detail our next question over here in investment casting use pattern made of our option are wax wood option c metal and option d clay clay is not a right answer but metal cast metal pattern is used for a large production over here for for an investment casting our right option is wax remember now let's discuss what is the exact uh, idea about investment casting over here we have first of all wax pattern this is our wax pattern and this wax pattern is further submerged inside the ceramic slurry so we have this type of ceramic cell and by applying heat to this uh, ceramic cell we have we can remove this uh, wax pattern from this ceramic cell so we have this type of cavity and we can pour this molten metal inside this cavity and by re removing this external cell we have this final product so it is easy to understand now let's move to the next detail well our question is over here in a gas turbine for power generation are normally used option a to supply peak load requirement option b to enable start thermal power plant option c when the other source of power fail and option d to supply the base load requirement first of all our right option over here is to supply the peak load requirement now let's discuss what are the gas turbine available right now in the market so the example of gas turbine are turbo jet turbo prop another is turbo shaft and fourth one is high bypass turbo fan and low bypass turbo fan so let's discuss one by one what are the gas turbines turbo jet first of all as we can see in this spectacular vision uh, at left side cold section and right side hot section as we can uh, as we know that he uh, air will enter from this uh, side and compressed by compression and it will enter inside the combustion chamber and combustion take place over here and at, at uh, exhaust thrust will produce thrust will produce so this type of turbojet engine used in aeroplane as we can see over here now let's move to the next detail our next detail is turbo prop turbo prop basically we are we can see over here propeller the propeller shaft is mount with a gear box with another gear shaft and compressor the air will enter inside this compressor and by compress the air the combustion take place at this turbine uh, before the turbine and exhaust will create over here thrust okay here we have a cold section and hot section as we know but the difference is the gearbox and the shaft propeller shaft and turbine shaft compressor shaft so uh, let's discuss the example of this turbo prop as at right side we can see let me overlay here this is the type of turbo prop engine gas turbine turbo prop gas turbine which is also used in aeroplane remember this turbojet and turbo prop both are different now let's discuss next detail which is turbo shaft as we can see over here at turbo shaft this is a cold section hot section the function is same at the exit at exhaust the thrust will produce and the power is moved toward the shaft which is known as turbo shaft by let me zoom over here this is also known as mitre gear remember this mitre gear now this type of uh, turbine used in as we can see at right side in helicopter or we can say chopper so remember this turbo shaft turbo prop turbo prop and uh, turbo jet all are different now let's discuss about turbo fan 
लो बायपास टर्बो फैन द डिफरेंस इज इन लो बायपास टर्बो फैन लॉन्ग फैन डक्ट इज अवेलेबल एंड द रिमेनिंग आर सेम कोल्ड सेक्शन एंड हॉट सेक्शन एंड फॉर हाई बायपास टर्बो फैन द शॉर्ट फैन डक्ट इज यूज वॉट एवर द डिफरेंस ओवर हियर इज हाई इन हाई बायपास टर्बो फैन लो शॉर्ट फैन डक्ट इज यूज एंड इन लो बायपास टर्बो फैन लॉन्ग डक्ट फैन इज यूज रिमेंबर दिस डिफरेंस नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी नेक्स्ट डिटेल दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो वी विल कंटिन्यू अपलोड द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो टू बी कंटिन्यूड प्रेस लाइक बटन इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट वॉट एवर द गिवन कंटेंट इन दिस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो गिव कॉमेंट्स बिकॉज योर फीडबैक्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस शेयर दिस वीडियो विच योर इंजीनियरिंग फ्रेंड्स लाइक मिकेनिकल ऑटोमोबाइल बिकाट्रॉनिक्स एट्सेट्रा एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल टू जॉइन विथ अवर डोंट टू जॉइन विथ अस फॉर नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल वी आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन फेसबुक ट्विटर लिंकड इन एंड गूगल प्लस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी फील फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट अस और एनी सजेशन देन यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट अस ऑन स्टडी मेक एजुकेशन एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम थैंक यू एंड हैव अ गुड टाइम